Hey guys, how you doing? Michigan Walleye and Panfish Productions. When I go out and catch a few fish, what I like doing is air frying them. I don't know if you guys ever tried it or not, but uh, I got a quick little uh, recipe that uh, has been working out pretty good. I enjoy it. It cuts down on the uh, the grease and the fish tastes great. So I use this kind of mix here. Louisiana. It's got the lemon, the lemon flavor in it. It's a really good mix. You can get it anywhere. It's a couple bucks. You've got a lot of mix there. Today I'm gonna cook up some uh, some bluegill. Okay, so I got my my bluegills out on paper towel, and uh, they were frozen. I let them uh, thaw out and get ready for the uh, for the air fryer. So anyways, I put them on this paper towel. I don't want a lot of excess moisture on these fillets or any fillets that I use in the air fryer. So I just put them out on a dry, a dry place. You know, you can use paper towel or you can use a, like a plate or a platter or whatever. Just try to get the excess water off them. You just want them moist and ready for the, uh, ready for the air fryers. I take the, uh, the Louisiana fish fry mix. I got a bowl here. Pour some in here. That should do it. That's probably a half cup. All right, so I just take a fillet. Kind of do that right there. Kick the excess off. Place it in your air fryer, kind of like, like over there. The next one here. The excess off place that in there like that and then continue on until you get the bottom all covered with fish simple all right well there you go i got all my fillets in there that i can fit in there pretty good the next step is you can either use vegetable oil or you could use the extra virgin olive oil it's totally up to you they both work great and what this does is it kind of crisp the outside edges so there's a little bit of oil in here but not bad so I'll just spritz these here real quick kind of get the tops that's it so we're good to go there so now we spritz the top with oil and get them nice and crispy so I go to I go to 380 okay because these are pretty thin these these fillets are thin they're just bluegills so they don't need uh, the intense heat or anything like that too much. So I'll start this at four. I'll get it down to three minutes. Pop it open real quick. Look in there. If they look, if they're looking like they're they're starting to get well done, I'll continue with that minute. If they look like they're not quite getting there yet, I'll add another minute. So. All right, we're at our one minute stage here, so I'm gonna open it up. All right, so it looks like it's not quite getting there yet so I'll continue on I'll add a minute there we go it's that simple add one minute and continue on we'll keep cooking until they're done all right it's been the uh the allotted time here they look done to me you can see how on this one here, this right there, it's starting to split a little bit at the uh, the seam of the of the meat. That's a good sign that it's uh, it's been cooked through, and they're ready to be eaten. Well, that's it, guys. You can't get much easier than that. So, you, like I said, let's just uh, reiterate here: grab your fish, take them out of the package, make sure they're make sure they're just moist, not wet. Put them in here, get them dusted up, and then. You place them in your fryer. You uh, you use your your vegetable oil or your extra virgin olive oil. Spray them, cook them, and then go from there.